Hello Andreas, Steve Warren here. I'm going to show you how to use the IDF file that we made. Uh, a little file that I sent you, we will drop into the Music One folder, Music One LE folder. It's named avimport.idf. The IDF extension is our uh, our extension. It means import definition file. So you should take this and drop it into your Music One LE folder on your C drive and then you're ready to go. And what you'll do to do the import is open the uh, Music One, open your database, and then open the file menu and select import. And import tracks is what you want. Import tracks. Then you will again open the file menu and select open and negotiate through your drive to the Music One LE folder and select the AV import IDF and click open. Each time you do an export from AV you'll probably name it differently. I've already set this up to import the text file that you named country.txt. When you export again from Audio Vault, you'll probably name that file differently, and you can use this import to uh, this import file to import other text files. So what you'll do to find your new export from Audio Vault is click the Browse button, and then in the lower right-hand corner, change the extension from .tab to star .star and then click to where you have the new export from Audio Vault. In this case, I have it on the desktop, and it was a file that you named country.txt. Select your new file and click Open. Now, that's all you're going to have to do. You can click Import, and it will bring the uh, information in. But I want to show you what's inside the IDF. That's under the Define Fields tab. And I have told this import IDF that it will be importing the runtime, which is the length, the artist, the title, and the cart field. And I've associated these three fields with what we have in your text file. So you can see the length, artist, title, and the AV number. And if you click on any record down here, it changes to what you have clicked on. Here's dedicated to the men. And there it is, dedicated. I write a little letter. And here is reinvent the wheel. There. So click File Preparation and click Import. And the data will be imported. And you can then close this window. You will go to the View menu, to Categories. Scroll down to the bottom. And your new information will have come into the New Songs field right down at the bottom. There we go. This is the information that I just imported from you. So once again, when you're ready to import, you will go to File, Import, Tracks, File again, Open, select the Import IDF, click Open. You will click the Browse button, Change tab to star dot star, then negotiate to the new file that you have exported from Audio Vault and open it, and then click import. And there you go. Now, when you do a re import like this, it will not make new song cards for information that you already have. Uh, let me close this window because we had already imported those songs from Alabama. So we go to the View menu and select Categories, scroll to the bottom of the list, open the New Songs, and at the bottom you'll see you only have the one-time import for each of these songs. Music One each time will make a match on the cart field. And if it already has a cart field with this particular Audio Vault number there, then it will not import it and make a new song card for you. That's how it goes. Let me know if you have any questions.